the whole mass prescribing in this country, which really didn't happen anywhere else, as I say, uh, comes out of a... If, 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 if you go back to immediately after the Civil War in this country, there were a lot of soldiers who were very badly um, wounded, and they, morphine becomes a more and more common means of dealing with pain. Um, and it's, it, it comes along with a hypodermic needle, so it's, it's much easier to, to use. And as, the, as morphine use among soldiers, ex-soldiers spreads, so doctors start using it for all kinds of pain. It becomes extremely common in this country. Um, and it leads, it gives rise to uh, America's first morphine epidemic alongside, particularly in the West Coast, uh, the rise of opium. And for the first time, uh, you have a president, uh, Teddy Roosevelt, who appoints a drug czar. Uh, and he, he's the commissioner for opium and opioids. Um, and he describes America as the, as the world's worst drug fiends. And new laws are introduced to combat the use of opioids in any form. And that leads to a, a, a real resistance after that within the medical community to uh, any, any kind of use of morphine or opioids in any form for treating pain. And that pretty much stays the situation till around the 1960s.